with Brown Dog Craft Company. Today is Tuesday, April 16th, 2024, and we are here for the monthly subscription class featuring Beach Day, the Beach Day Bundle. So as you're joining, say hello and let me know where you're joining from. Um, so here, uh, every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Central, I am live for class. Class is always free to watch, and everything you see is always available to purchase as a card kit. So uh, today is the monthly subscription class, and how the monthly subscription class works is you can uh, get the monthly subscription class just once if you'd like. The cost is $55, and it's everything you need to make nine cards and extra DSP. You get a full roll of ribbon and a full pack of embellishments and then all the card bases and the card pieces and whatnot to make nine cards. So it's three cards of three different designs and we make one of each of those designs. So three cards here live in class. Um, if you want to sign up for a six month subscription to the monthly subscription class, the cost is reduced from $55 to $45 per month. And then um, you are just making a commitment to me that for six months, you will purchase the kit for the $45 for six consecutive months. And then um, on month six, you can pick any stamp and die bundle at 50% off as a thank you from me. So that's a little bit how this class goes. Each month there is a different, um, all the cards are made with the same stamp and die set. So this month is the beach day bundle. Last month was the painted lavender. I'm trying to remember. Oh, the Painted Lavender and Perennial Postage. Next month is the Latte Suite, a little latte. Love, latte love. <laughs> however however that, that one goes. Um, so I have a few things to show you and a couple things to talk about, and then we'll get going for class today. So let me um, turn my camera around, and we'll get me, not like that, <laughs> we'll get me put up here. Um, in the corner, as usual. Hi, Marsha. Welcome. All right, my camera is a little too high. There we go. Okay, so the oh, hold on, I gotta get Milo. Hi, Milo. Hi, bud. You wanna come lay down? Okay. Good boy. All right, Milo's here. <laughs> Hi, Milo. Good boy. Okay, all right, sorry, had to get Milo. <laughs> so uh, for those of you who don't know, Milo is um, the brown dog of a brown dog craft company. And he's always here. And if you stick around till the end, he makes a cameo appearance. <laughs> so for some snacks. So okay, um, let's talk about a couple things first. So one thing I wanna talk about is the In Color Club. So the In Color Club is a yearly club Every year, Stampin' Up! releases five new, what they call, in colors. So the new annual catalog, which goes live May 1st, uh, 14 days from right now, I think. <laughs> Who's excited? <laughs> um, the five new in colors will be available for purchase. So they are Peach Pie, Pretty in Pink, Summer Splash, Petunia Pop, and Shy Shamrock. So if you're watching, let me know which one's your favorite. Mine is Petunia Pop. So, um, and, and so the, the In Color Club is every month you will receive all of the products that are listed here of that In Color, which is everything that that In Color comes in. So um, I believe the first month will be Petunia Pop, but it may be different for each of you depending on availability. Milo's toy is stuck under the cart. Milo. Um, depending on availability. So, um, but what you get, it's $65 per month and plus $9 shipping. You get Milo. All right, he's getting it. <laughs> um, you get one package of eight and a half by 11 cardstock, the, the ink pad with refill. You'll get um, one full sheet of the glimmer paper cut down to six by six. You'll get the Stampin' Right marker and the Blends combo pack, which is two markers in the combo pack. You'll get the ribbon and um, four sheets of the 6x6 six six in color paper, because there's four different designs. Um, a handmade card featuring the in color of the month from me and, an, and a free gift, a surprise free gift every month. Okay, so the deadline to sign up is April 28th. And then um, you just have to pay by the last day of the month. So I'll send you an invoice. Um, and you can pay via all the normal ways we normally pay. So there is a link 
If you click on the video description here, um, there should be a link. You can go to my website too and get the link. It's just a form. Hi, Christina, welcome. There's just a form that you fill out um, and you can also purchase on my website. So I am starting, and I'll talk about this more in the showcase, which will be um, next week sometime. I'll talk about this more in the showcase, but um, I am going to also make card classes available for purchase online. So I've started. I think there's three or four classes on browndogcraftcompany.com. So you can still purchase the same way you do now, which is email me at hello at browndogcraftcompany.com. And you can also go online and purchase as well with a credit card. So if that works better for you, you can do that. So I, I, I don't have everything out there. I plan to put everything out there. It's just not there yet. <laughs> okay. So, and we might have a little bit of kinks to work through just um, the first few orders just to, depending on how it all works out. Okay. So um, I wanted to show you a couple of things. One is last Friday we were live for the In Color Retirement Party. Hi, Sharon. Welcome. We were live for the In Color Retirement Party, and I do have card kits left over for that. They're $45. They come in a pack like this. You get a full roll of the, or a full package of the twine and a full roll of ribbon, and enough to make five cards in the In Colors. Those are $45 for those card kits. So I do still have some of those left if you're interested. This is what we made. It uses the Share Milkshake Bundle. Um, next week we have the Fun Fold class and that features hot air balloon. I still have some kits left. I think I have two or three left of this class. There's, um, uh, I think this is called a Cascading Waterfall. Yes, that's Milo. He's, it's, it uh, rained all day here today. So he did not get to go for a walk and he is really full of energy. <laughs> so he might be, um, he might be walking around a bit today, okay? <laughs> um, the fun fold on this card is the balloon here. Oh, Christina says, I did those, they were fun. Oh, the, re the retirement party cards? Yes, you did, they are fun. Um, and then this one has here, hang in there. It's a slider card. Thanks, Jean. Okay, um, and then the In Color Club, not the In Color Club, we're going to have an in-color kickoff party in May. I don't have those cards designed yet. They are next on my list to design, but those are going to feature the hot air balloon set too. Okay, so um, if you want to sign up for that class, you can. It's going to be the same format as the retirement party, just with the new in-colors. Hi, Angelique. I'm glad you're here tonight. Sharon says rain is coming for us tomorrow. It's probably working its way over because I think you're east, Sharon, right? I think. Okay, and then the last class for April is the bonus class. So we have five Tuesdays in the month, and I normally only have four classes on Tuesdays. So we're going to have a fifth class, because why not, right? Rather than take the night off, let's have, let's have card class. <laughs> so this class I still have cards available for. It's just called the April bonus class, and they're $25. This will be in the correct orientation, but... So this is Kidding Around. You don't need the Kidding Around stamp or die set. Um, to make it. This is Dog on Friendly, which is a background stamp. We, you could use any stamp back there. Okay. Yes, in Ohio. Yes. And then this one uses Planted Paradise. You just need some sort of flowers or greenery. Um, you'll have to stamp and fussy cut these. And then this uses a set that's retiring. It's called Vertical Blooms, and it's one of my favorites, but it's retiring. It's really pretty, though. All the sentiments go vertical in the stamp set. So, oh, Christina says, my arthroscopic is telling me we're getting rain soon. Oh, my arthritis. Oh, that's funny that it corrected it. <laughs> I've never heard of arthroscopic. <laughs> your, arth your arthritis. Well, you probably are getting rain. It was gorgeous today. You know, it was really pretty here Saturday, like really warm, like 80. And then Sunday, it was still warm. It was like 70-something, but it was super windy. So I think the wind was bringing in the storm clouds, and then it, it literally rained all day, all day long. Like so hard. It rained so hard, it was hard to drive. <laughs> so if that tells you how hard it rained. Um, it was very rainy, and we all got soaked multiple times, which the kids thought was absolutely amazing. 
Okay, um, I wanted to, I know this isn't the showcase, but I'm really excited because I got some cards done and I want to show you. So I thought you might want to see the sneak peeks because why not, right? So, okay, um, the May bundle class uses Simply Z Zinnia. I called it Flowering Zinnia on accident, but um, that's where we have four cards. We make four cards. The card kits are $25 and they are available for purchase. Okay. That's one of them. It uses some of the new ribbon from um, the new catalog. Well, this one doesn't have an inside yet, but it will. Okay, that's the second one. That's embossed with the, I think it's a 3D embossing folder. Okay, this one is really pretty. It has, um, it's a fun fold and, well, it's a fun fold of sorts. It has a little pocket that we're going to make, and it has a little seed packet inside. Zinnias, of course. Okay, and then this is the last one. And mine opens this way, but we'll have it open the correct way during class. Okay, so that is the four cards for the May bundle class, which I will be kitting up and shipping out soon. Hopefully by next week, next Tuesday, probably. No, the Tuesday after that, probably, in two weeks, I think, because <laughs> there's an extra week in April here, which I'm thankful for. I need it. Okay, um, the other thing I wanted to talk about was the monthly subscription class for May. Um, that's the tonight class, but in one month, I got those cards done, and that's going to feature a little latte and the a latte love stamp and die set. The ribbon that we're going to get for that class is the basic beige. So this is new. It's not an in color, but it's a new neutral, I think is what they call it. It's a new neutral color. And it's, um, yeah, I love zinnias too. They're so pretty. And I love that they can be so many colors, right? <laughs> um, so it's like a neutral. So this is the ribbon that you'll get. You'll get a roll of the ribbon and you will get a pack of these swirls, which are back in stock as of right now. <laughs> so if you've been waiting for these, I've been watching them for weeks, including all day today, I've been watching them. So at like 3 p.m. they were not in stock and I just checked and they are in stock. So if you were waiting for these swirls, they are back. Okay, so that will be nine cards, three of each of these. This will be the first one. So this is actually, I tried to design this class in particular um, if you don't have the stamp, the stamp set, you can make almost, you can make the cards almost identical to this, even though you don't have the stamp set, because this coffee cup is the DSP, so you'll get the coffee cup to either fussy cut out or die cut out if you have the dies. This is DSP and this is DSP. You'll need a sentiment here, and then this is actually a, a stamp. These are stamps from the stamp set, but if you didn't have the stamp set, they'd be really cute even without those little splatters, okay? Uh, this is the second card, so you'll make three of this one. Oh, again, they don't have insides yet. They always have insides by the time they get to you. Oh, and I don't have the embellishments on them yet either. So they are literally hot off the press. <laughs> so they'll have these embellishments. Okay. So this is the second one, and this all comes die cut for you. So you don't need to die cut any of this. This is the DSP. This will be die cut for you. Um, these little coffee cups, that's using the petunia pop. So this one, you just need a sentiment. That is it. And then the third one, you also just need a sentiment. These coffee cups are um, DSP. So you'll get the coffee cups again. You'll be able to either die cut them out or, or, or fussy cut them out, which they'd be really easy to fussy cut out. And then um, you'll need a sentiment here. And then I did stamp the coffee beans on the background here. You could stamp anything back there. Little hearts would be really cute too. Okay, so you'll make three of each of those for the monthly subscription class for May. Angelique says, she just put in an order earlier today. Oh man, I have been waiting for those swirl dots. I know. I really need pecan pie cardstock, and that is low inventory. So I was gambling because I needed the pecan pie cardstock, but I wanted to place it with the same order as the swirls because I don't want to pay separate shipping just to get it. I needed eight packages of the swirls. <laughs> so I was like, I don't want to pay separate shipping just for eight packages of the swirls. So I was really hoping that the pecan pie cardstock wouldn't go out of stock while I was waiting for the swirls to come in stock because that's how our life works, right? 
I hate when that happens, Christina. Yeah, I know. I know. Okay, and one more thing I want to show you before we get into making cards tonight. Um, it's a ways away, but if you pull up my schedule and you go to the second page, um, the new class that I'm starting is called Coffee and Cards. And the first Coffee and Cards is actually in June. However, since I had the Latte Love stamp, step, stamp set and all the paper and whatnot out, I decided to design the Coffee and Cards for July because that features a little latte. So grab your coffee and let's craft together. <laughs> You're going to make five special cards. You'll get uh, a full roll of ribbon, a full pack of embellishments, and um, uh, extra DSP. Okay, so those are, they're $45. And I'll show you those cards. So these ones, you are probably going to want either the stamp and die set or something um, similar that you could use in place of it. So you'll get a full roll of this ribbon natural polka dot something polka dot trim you'll get a full pack of the uh, swirl embellishments okay um you will get um all your envelopes and card bases and all of that um to make these five cards and i'll tell you what you need on these five cards maybe when we get more into the showcase later because this isn't until July. <laughs> so I'll show these cards again in June. Again, they have no embellishments. So um, they need embellishments. But I'm trying to get the camera to focus. This one is really fun because it uses what's called embossed resist with faux watercolor. So this little mug here is heat embossed with cream embossing powder. And then we use what I call faux watercolor to watercolor the mug. So this isn't colored with pencils or blends or it, it's watercolor, faux watercolor. And I'll show you <laughs> what that means. Okay, so that's card number one. Um, here is card number two. So it uses some of the DSP. We're going to stamp these and then stamp these little um, mugs and we will die cut them out and color just a little bit. Basic coloring, we're just coloring in the mugs. Okay, the third card for that class is this one. So we will be coloring these. This this is DSP and this is DSP. We're gonna color the mugs. This is um petunia pop and peach pie, and then we'll die cut them out. Okay, and the fourth card is this one. Now this one doesn't actually have any DSP on it. We create this background with a stamp set. And this is that new basic page. I love that it goes with everything. So we're gonna come, uh, we'll stamp and color these and stamp these. And then um, a lot of these labels are from the Unbounded Beauty dies. They're really pretty. They're in the new catalog. So you'll be able to order them soon if you are not a demonstrator. And then this is the last card for that class. It's Slimline. So again, these all need embellishments. So keep in mind that they'll have embellishments on them, but you'll get all these little um, mugs here in rainbow order. And they look like they're kind of like sitting on the counter there. So, okay. I just wanted to show those to you. They're not exactly finished, um, but they will be soon enough. So, all right, let's talk about class tonight. Get all this out of the way. Um, okay, well, these are the cards we're making today. So today we're on the monthly subscription class. It uses Beach Day. The card kits are $45 per month with a six month subscription. Uh, it includes enough supplies to make nine cards, extra DSP, one roll of ribbon, one pack of embellishments, and all of your envelopes. And I think if I'm remembering correctly, I think I did craft envelopes for these which were cute. So here's some other sets that you could use, I think, instead of using the Beach Day set, if you, if you don't have that, okay? A lot of this stuff will come die cut for you, so you don't need to worry about um, a lot of it, but, so that's one card we'll make. Here's another card that we will make. And here's the third card, more of like a scene card that we will make, okay? All right, so let's get going. I think the order in the PDF that I created for class is this. So I think we'll start with the yellow. 
and the lemon lolly, I think that is. And let me pull out my lemon lolly card base. So you, again, will have three, three of each of these, okay? All right, so if I look at my lemon lolly card base, or card bases in your in your case, we always need to burnish our card bases. Okay, and we'll set that aside. So in this card, or for these cards, you're gonna have a piece of crumb cake, and it's going to be embossed with the, th I think it's 3D, the twisted rope embossing folder, which is carrying over, I'm very excited. You're gonna have a little rectangle or square of white, and that's gonna go behind your lemon lolly piece right here. Okay, so we're gonna stamp on it and it's gonna go back here. And then you'll have this lemon lolly piece that has a little stylus shapes circle die cut out of it. You'll have two little die cut shells in Pool Party and Calypso Coral. You will have a Pool Party mat, which goes on the front. And I'm just realizing all right, let me make sure I cut the mat correctly. Okay, we might have to trim down our little piece here a little bit. It might be an eighth of an inch too wide. We'll look at that. Um, and then you'll have a piece for the inside, four by five and a quarter. Okay, four by five and a quarter for your inside. Okay, all right, so let's do our stamping. Okay, so I know it's hard to tell. Oh, thanks, Christina. I know. Aren't they fun? Okay, so we make our own DSP for this card. So in the stamp set, oh, I didn't pull out our inks either. Let's pull out all of our inks. All right, we need, uh, we need our Versamark. Okay, Versamark. We need Lemon Lolly and Crumb Cake. And we need um, soft sea foam and coastal cabana. And then what do we need on the inside of this one? Okay, that's that's it, but we need our white pigment ink too. Which where is mine? Here it is. White pigment ink. Okay, so I think these are all the colors that we need. It's not too many. So white, coastal cabana, soft sea foam, crumb cake, lemon lolly. Oh, I think we do need a little bit of pecan pie. Pecan pie. Hi Milo, lay down. Pecan pie and then your Versamark. And your white embossing powder. Okay. Look at how pretty they look together. <laughs> I really like these uh, colors together. Okay, um, and then the DSP it, that you get, so we use it on this card. It's the Sunny Days DSP, which was a um, celebration DSP, but we only use it on one card. So um, there isn't like a DSP that goes with this set. So, all right. Let's see, first let's do some stamping. Okay, that's where we were at. We were gonna stamp. So in the stamp set, there is this umbrella and this chair. And we're gonna stamp Lemon Lolly onto Lemon Lolly with those two. So what I did is I sort of, I took my D block. And now you could do this separate if you wanted. I put my chair down like this. And then I put my umbrella next to it like this like how it would sit in the sand right okay you don't need to do it that way you can do it however you'd like and then we're going to take our yellow pieces and lay them out and with lemon lolly we are going to randomly stamp a pattern and it's going to be tone on tone it's going to be pretty light because it's tone on tone but that's what we want we want it to be subtle okay so i'm going to do this um upside down and wrong side and all of that okay and I'll show you up close because it's hard to see um, it's hard to see on camera 
Okay, so I'm just gonna stamp that all around the card, or all around the piece. And I'm gonna twist it and turn it so it's not always the same direction. Okay. All right, you see that? How it's all stamped all around like that? Let me clean this up. All right. So that's, um, well, we do need lemon lolly on the inside. Okay, so before we take our stamps off, let's stamp on the inside with lemon lolly. The same configuration is gonna go on the bottom left. So umbrella and chair set up like they're on the beach. Right there. Like they're sitting in the sand. Okay. And then in Coastal Cabana, we can do our sentiment. And the sentiment that I chose on the inside is wishing you a beautiful day. If you don't have that one, you can choose any other sentiment. Wishing you a beautiful day. I'm gonna stamp that up here. Okay, wishing you a beautiful day. That's our inside. And then the last one is crumb cake. And it's sending sunshine your way. And that's going to go on this piece. And before I stamp, Let's see, let's get our stamp out. Sending sunshine your way. Before I stamp this, I'm going to put it behind here and just line it up. It doesn't need to be perfect at the moment, but this is where it's going to be. And I just wanna make sure that I stamp it so that, you know, I'm not gonna stamp it too far to the left or the right. I wanna make sure that it's gonna be in the right spot on that white piece. Okay. So this will be in crumb cake. Sending sunshine your way. All right, and now that's all the stamping on this card. Um, okay, oh, did I mention what you get in this card kit? You're gonna get a full pack of these, the iridescent foil gems. They're really pretty. They kind of look like sand. And you're gonna get a full roll of the pool party ribbon, which is retiring. I don't think these are retiring. I think these carry over. But this is retiring, which I'm sad about. I like this color. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's glue. Oh, I'm almost out of glue too. Let's glue our white piece behind the yellow here. Okay, and that's gonna go right about there. Okay. Got some extra glue on there. Okay. Now, um, this piece I'm trying to, it's just ever so slightly too wide. I'm gonna take my trimmer. This um, crumb cake piece is just a hair too wide. It needs to be the same width as the yellow. So I'm just gonna trim off the teeniest amount. This is how much I trimmed off. Okay, I think that's gonna fit this better. It does, yes. Okay. All right. So then we're going to take our pool party base here. And this is going to get lined up at the bottom, the left, and the right. So decide which side is your up. 
Patty, hi Jenna, just joining now. Hi everyone. Hi Patty, welcome. That's all right. You're not very late. We just started. All we did was some little stamping. Okay, so this is going to go at the bottom and you're going to line it up with the bottom, the left and the right. It doesn't matter which is the bottom at this point, I guess. Okay, and then this is going to be lined up at the top the left and the right. I'm making a big gluey mess here. My hands are so messy, so gluey at the moment. <laughs> okay, and don't worry about how they overlap. We're gonna cover it with ribbon. Okay. All right, now we're gonna make a tear and tape sandwich. So for those of you who don't know what a tear and tape sandwich is, it's my way of conserving ribbon. So you can wrap the ribbon all the way around the card if you want. If you want to conserve ribbon, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take, so we want, we want the ribbon to go across the seam of the two card stocks right here so the seam isn't so obvious. So we're gonna flip this panel over and put tear and tape behind it, right behind where the, um, that seam is. Then we're going to take the back off of our tear and tape. And we're going to push our ribbon, which yours will come on a roll. You'll get a whole roll. <laughs> we're going to push our ribbon into it. Okay, so we'll line it up on the front where we want it. We just need a little bit. Oh, should I use my ribbon scissors? I have a pair right here. <laughs> So we just need a little. We're gonna line it up on the front where we would like it. And then push the ends over and push them into that tear and tape. Okay, so just like that. And then to hold down our ends, we just make a sandwich with our tear and tape. Okay, so now that's held down. Um, let's glue in the inside of our our inside mat. I'm gonna have to get a new glue bottle here. And you know what, I'm, I might only have one half full bottle of glue left. All right, this goes on the inside. Now you could glue this down directly to the front or you can do what I'm going to do, which is, I'm gonna take, so these are the foam, the foam sheets and they're a little too big for like a card front panel and I don't like cutting it just a little bit and wasting the like I feel like it's a waste if I use this whole thing so what I like to do is I like to cut mine in half and then I cut them in half again and I use two of them on one card and two of them on another. So I get four pieces. I get two cards out of it, essentially. Okay, so I would use these two for a different card and these two for this card. So they're double-sided adhesive, so you just peel one side off and then stick it down and then you're ready to put it on your card front. So it's the same thing as dimensionals, you could use dimensionals um, and accomplish the same thing. It's just a little bit quicker, that's all. All right, now we gotta put our little pearls, our pearls, our shells down. And I think they're a little too small for a regular dimensional. So I'm going to use two minis. Okay, and I'm gonna put them right here. I'm gonna do that one there, and this one here. And if you still have Stella, which I think you can order Stella again now, can't you? Isn't it back in stock? Gotta get my Stella out. Sorry, I'm in the way. <laughs> okay, um, I think you can order Stella again now. I think she's finally back. Okay, so I'm going to put Stella on those. 
And then we need some of our embellishments. So mine are in here. So you can put however many embellishments you'd like. Um, I like odd numbers typically, not always. Depends on the card. So I'm gonna do a big and a little and one down here. Okay, so that is card one. And you'll have three of these. Okay, easy, easy peasy, and it looks complicated. It looks like you put a lot of work into this card. Okay, sending sunshine your way. I think the lemon lolly is perfect for sending sunshine. All right, before I get too much further, I'm gonna wrap some ribbon around my ribbon scissors because I'm going to confuse them with my paper scissors if I don't. So let me cut some ribbon. I'm trying to decide how I want to do this. Maybe I'll just Maybe I should make this longer. Hi Pat. I'm glad you made it. It's all right that you're late. All right. Ribbon scissors. Ribbon scissors have ribbon. That makes sense, right? <laughs> Now I gotta try really hard not to cut my ribbon, cut paper with my ribbon scissors. Okay. All right, so that is card one, or card one through three. <laughs> all right, I'll set that aside. When we're all done, I'll ask you which ones your favorites are. All right, let's do this one next. This one is the uh, surfboard one. Okay, so it has a Calypso Coral, no, I always say Calypso Coral when I mean Coastal Cabana. So it has a Coastal Cabana base and a soft sea foam mat. So pull out those. You'll have obviously three. And this one we do a little bit of die cutting with, some stamping and die cutting. Um, inside you're going to have so two sand hills per card, okay? Two sand hills per card. You are going to have a beach, and mine mine has a double edge on it because I realized I die cut it wrong, but yours should just have one. You might have to kind of poke out your little waves. These die cuts are really delicate on this set. So I didn't want to poke them all out and risk breaking them. So you might have to sort of separate some of your wave pieces there. Okay, so again, yours should just look like that. <laughs> don't, don't mind the bottom upside down wave on mine. Okay, you're going to have these pieces for the palm trees. And there are two different um, pieces. Okay, so they, they look different. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, this one and this one. See how they're different? It's like these little bottom pieces curve opposite ways. And this one's got more of like a shorter little humpty hump right there. <laughs> okay, so there's two different pieces per palm tree. Okay. All right. Um, you will have, oops, this goes with your sandcastle card. If you have a little square of crumb cake, or I suppose you'll have three squares. That's for your other card. So just set it aside. Yours might be with the correct card kit, but mine is with this card kit. <laughs> um, you're going to have three little palm trees in pecan pie. That's the, the trunk of your palm tree. You'll have a sentiment strip in white. And then you'll have three pieces of cardstock. Coastal Cabana, Soft Sea Foam, and Lemon Lolly. And this is where we're going to stamp our surfboards. Now, if you don't have this stamp set, you can cut a surfboard shape, okay? It's not a super hard shape to make, and um, I, th I think you could maybe draw it with a pencil and then cut along those lines to make a surfboard, okay? We're going to stamp tone on tone and then die cut them. Um, you are going to have... 
uh, the white. This is going to go on our soft sea foam base here, soft sea foam mat, and then white for the inside. Okay, so lots of little parts and pieces to this one. Uh, I would suggest burnishing first. This is one of my favorite colors, I'll have to say. It looks really good with lots of different colors. It looks really great with like um, uh, Melon Mambo. It looks really good with light pink. It looks really good with like oranges, like peach. It looks good with green. It looks good with brown. It looks good with any color. It's one of my favorites. Okay, uh, let's do some stamping. This one has a fair amount of stamping. Um, let's stamp our sentiment. So I have wishing you a beautiful day. And that is in Calypso. No, see, I always want to call Coastal Cabana Calypso Coral. It's Coastal Cabana. <laughs> it was in Coastal Cabana on the last card too. Okay, so I'm going to stamp that and then I'm going to banner the ends. So I'm going to stamp it toward the end of one of these, toward the left a little bit. Okay. And I'll show you my favorite banner punch. I wonder if it's sold out. I have not noticed if it's sold out. All right, then I'm going to get the surfboard out. So here's our surfboard. Oh, I need a bigger block than that. Uh, I guess he needs the surfboard needs a D block. Okay, so the surfboard, the Coastal Cabana surfboard is going to go on the Coastal Cabana piece of cardstock. And then we'll have to clean that off. Let me get my cleaner. Because we are then going to stamp, let's do um, Lemon Lolly on the Lemon Lolly. But first we got to clean off our, I can never open these, you guys. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> I don't know what my problem is. So I'm going to spray some cleaner here. This is my favorite way to clean my stamps, and I will have to tell you I absolutely love the way the cleaner smells. It's one of my favorites. Okay. And I've got Lemon Lolly, so we're going to stamp a Lemon Lolly surfboard onto Lemon Lolly. And I'll clean that off over here on the side. And then we'll do our soft sea foam surfboard onto soft sea foam. Okay, so you'll do that three times on each one. Okay. All right. Um, Let's see what's next for stamping. Oh, we could stamp the inside. So I have um, a surfboard in yellow in the Lemon Lolly on our white panel. That's here. And it's sort of like tilted up against the side of the card here. And then I have Enjoy Your Day in Coastal Cabana. Sorry, enjoy today, not enjoy your day. Enjoy today. Okay. And that's going to go right there. Okay, enjoy today. Um, is that it for stamping? Oh, no, it's not. Now we're going to, uh, this is where we're going to pull out our white, our pigment ink. So this is what the white pigment ink pad looks like. I know it looks black, but it's white. <laughs> and uh, you actually ink it up yourself. And we're going to pull out, there's this little, it's like a little seashell right here, this little seashell stamp. And we're going to stamp that all over our grass here, our grass, our sand, right here, on both of the layers. And it does take a little bit to dry, so just try not to touch it 
while it's drying. It will smear. Okay. So this larger piece is going to go in the front. So I'm going to be a little more purposeful about where I stamp here. So it's a very subtle, just makes it look like there's something in the sand, some seashells that someone found and left on the beach or, okay. All right, so I did that all over. And we're just gonna let it dry for a second here. Get all of this wiped up. All right, is that it for stamping? I think that is it for stamping. All right, I'm going to line up the dies and die cut out the surfboards quick. So these are the dies. They're really cute. They make the, on the next card you'll see, they make the really cute, like, little shack, the little beach shack. It's so adorable. Okay. So I'll line up our little surfboards. There's one tone on tone surfboard. There's two. Okay. All right. And then that's the lemon lolly. And then here's our. What I keep wanting to call Calypso Coral for some reason. Coastal Cabana. <laughs> All right. Hi, Milo. Such a good boy. He's over there sleeping. I, I don't know how he has to be aboard today, but he's taking a nap. All right. So there's our surfboard. And we need to put together our little palm tree, which maybe we'll just put together the palm tree once it's on the card. So, okay, let's start with our soft sea foam um, card panel. This little white piece is going to act as the sky. So we're gonna glue it down and we're gonna line it up with the top, the left, and the right. We're not gonna worry about what it looks like on the bottom because it's gonna be covered. Okay, so you're going to have a small margin, top, left, and right. Okay, now we're going to do a little bit of placement here to see where our waves need to go. So this sand piece is going to go on the bottom down here. And we want about the same margin on the bottom as we did on the top. This second sand piece is going to go behind it and give us some dimension. And behind that is going to go our waves. So we just want to line it up before we glue our waves down to see where we want them. Like, okay, do we like it right there? I think that looks good. Our little palm tree is going to stick up over here. Maybe down a little bit lower. Okay, so I'm going to glue my waves right here. I'm just going to keep my finger there and put a little bit of glue right here. And my waves will go right there. Okay. And they go straight across that white panel. And then I'll need to add a little bit behind here. Hold that wave down. And the white behind the waves is like the frothy part of the wave. Yes, very beachy. Beachy. Okay, um, a couple of options. You can pop up both of these or you could glue this one down and pop up this one. 
I think I'm going to pop up them both. So I'm going to add, um, let's see, this one's going to get covered. So I'm going to put them down the center of this one. And then this one I'm going to help out. Oh, and you could put the other um, strip piece here too. I, we, we could have put this here. We'd have to cut it a little, but... Okay, so I'm going to lay these down kind of simultaneously. I'm going to be st strategic when I lay them down. Okay, so we want this one here. I'm just going to put the bottom down. <clears throat> and I'm going to sneak this one in. So right about, right about there. Okay. All right, I snuck it in. <laughs> okay, now our palm tree and our surfboards are going to get tucked underneath, but they need some dimensionals. So here's our surfboards. I think they each can have two. Two dimensionals is good. Okay. And you can put these in any order. I think I'm going to do lemon lolly ones. Going to get tucked right here. And then I'm going to do coastal cabana right next to it. And then I'll do soft sea foam next to that. Okay, I'm going to glue this little itty bitty palm tree piece. And it's itty bitty. <laughs> and you don't need a lot of glue. The glue will come through the palm tree some because there's little slits in the die. So you really don't need a lot of glue on this. Just a teeny, teeny amount of glue. And the palm tree is going to go in between the sand there onto here. Hold that down a minute. And then I'm going to use a mini dimensional for the palm tree pieces. So I don't know that it matters which palm tree piece you put down first. So I'm just going to put a dimensional right here and right here and I think just two. Okay, so that's going to go right there. And then we'll do three dimensionals on this one because it's a little bit bigger. One, two, and three. Come on, there we go. And then these just sort of like crisscross. Okay, I'm not sure if there's a specific way they're supposed to go. There probably is. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to Stella that because why not? Stella's back. So we can Stella all we want. Okay, get some Stella. I should probably Stella it before you put it down, but. Okay. Um, we need our sentiment here. And I'll show you my favorite banner punch. Let me go get it. I forgot to get it. So this is it. Um, I think it's called Pick a Banner Punch. And I really like it because I am not very good at making these little flags on cards. I never get them straight. So this helps me a lot. <laughs> All right, that looks pretty good. So then this is gonna get some dimensionals. I think three is probably good. Okay, that's gonna go right here. 
And then we're going to tie a bow with the ribbon. And normally I tie your bows for you. The only class I don't tie your bows for are these types of classes because you get a full roll of the unopened ribbon. So if you don't have a bow maker, um, you can tie them without a bow maker. Otherwise, uh, the bow makers, I do send them out. If you'd like to purchase one, you may. They are $19 plus a dollar shipping. Otherwise, if you sign up for the monthly subscription class, I have a promotion right now that I will send you one of the bow makers. So, all right, let's cut the ends. Okay. And then for bows, I like to use a glue dot. I like to push my bow into a glue dot, just like that. And that's gonna go right here on the card, right in the center. Oh, and then we need our little jemmies. So let's see, I'll do a big and a little and I'm going to do a big one right there. Okay, now we just have to glue these down. I forgot to glue them down. All right, so inside, I think this glue bottle is done. I like to get every last drop of glue, don't you guys? <laughs> I don't want to waste it. I don't want to waste it. Okay. okay, here's the inside. And the front. All right, there's card layout number two, guys. I like this one, it's fun. Fun, fun. Wishing you a beautiful day. It could be a birthday card. It could be, could be any card. Wishing you a beautiful day. Could be a whole bunch of different sen um, occasions, right? Okay, that's card two. All right, should we do card three? This one is more of like a scene card. Okay, so this one has, um, we're going to do a little bit of ink blending. And all of these pieces are die cut for you, so it really comes together quickly. We're going to do some heat embossing right here. And we're going to stamp this cute little sandcastle. So this card is on um, Pool Party. Thanks, Angelique. So this one's on Pool Party. And you'll have the pool party, it's landscape card base, and you're gonna have the shack, the beach shack. You'll have the base and the shack, which my base, my base isn't in here. Hmm. I hope you all have your bases to the shack. Hmm. You let me know if you don't have your bases. If you don't have your bases, I'll stick them in with next month's kit. Or if you have another kit coming up, I can get them too. So I'm going to have to cut a base. Okay, so you'll have the base. You'll have the grass. You'll have this cute little, um, I don't know if it's like a ramp, right? A, a ramp to get down. Pat, oh, Angelique says cute. Pat says that's adorable. Sharon says makes you want to go to a beach. It's almost beach season here, guys. It's close. <laughs> okay. It's almost beach season. Um, we're going to have a little lemon lolly flag. So those are lemon lolly. You have this little, um, I, is this like a life saver thing? Not the candy. <laughs> life, life preserver? Is that better? <laughs> That's um the little white piece here. It's going to go on the little shack. This little cloud is from um, Bright Skies. Bright Skies? Uh, I have it pulled out. 
but it's the cloud from bright skies so you have a little white cloud and then this is the paper um, a rainy day from um, the sunny days DSP it's funny there's rainy day paper in the sunny days DSP which I think is funny <laughs> um, you'll have a white piece for your inside and the mat is crumb cake okay so we always burnish our cards and um, this is actually Calypso Coral. And I gotta cut the base of the house. Is that Calypso Coral? That's Calypso Coral. No bases. I'll send you the bases. No gems in yours, Angelique. Okay, hold on, let me make a note. Beach, beach shack base, yes. Um, okay, let me make a note before I gotta find my post-its. Um, okay, here's where you're going to pull in that little crumb cake piece that I put in the other one um, that I put in that other card kit. Okay, I must have forgot all your bases to your shack. Um, let me get a post-it note. I bet they're sitting over on my desk, on my other desk. Beach shack bases. Oh, you found your gems. Good. I was going to say your gems are a whole pack, so I hope you found the gems in there. <laughs> okay. Let me do... Okay, we need Calypso 3, Calypso Coral Shack Bases for April monthly subscription class. Okay. I made a note. I'm sorry, we can make the card without the bases for now, and you can add them in, okay? Sorry, guys. You know, I check these, and I lay everything out, and I double-check them, and I look at the card, the sample card, and I think I have everything that's needed, and then I kit them up, but I have to tell you, I am a one-woman show, <laughs> so... Um, I try to remember everything. So, sorry about that. I'm gonna leave these out so I don't forget to do them and mail them to you all, okay? All right, so I will make it in the card kit here so you can see it, at least how it's supposed to go. I mean, you have the photo in the PDF too, so that's helpful, but. Okay, so let's put these together. Um, we need our little sand. Thank you for understanding. We need our sand hills and you can decide, you know, when the die cuts, it always it always makes that little line. I know it's hard to see on the camera. So you can decide if you want to flip your other sand hill over like this. Yes, thank you for understanding, guys. It is lots of little pieces. And I mean, I tell you, I, I take the card <laughs> And I break it down into pieces and I lay all the cardstock out that I need and I put the die on top of it. And then I just like assembly line, like die cut them all out. And then I lay out all the bases and then I put all the die cut pieces in and I make sure that each card kit, like card stack, I, I, I like stack it up. And I make sure that each one has all the pieces that it needs. And then I look at the card and I look at each individual card kit and I go, okay, that piece, that piece, that piece, that piece, that piece. And then I fold it all up and either put it in the envelope or stick it in the in the package for you. So I try to sort of like double or if not triple check what I'm doing, but I guess I have to miss something sometime, right? So you'll all be getting, those of you who signed up for the kit, you'll all be getting these little pieces. I'll stick them in the mail, okay? All right. Okay. Um, oh, we need our pecan pie ink and we're going to ink blend onto our sand and we're just going to ink blend a little bit onto the top and since it's pecan pie ink blending onto pecan pie it's not a huge um 
it's not super noticeable, but it just gives enough dimension to be different. So I'm going to take and load up my brown brush with some ink and just ink blend a little bit onto the top. And you can see it almost right away, especially with this color. Some colors are less noticeable. Okay, so we don't need much. A little bit there. And a little bit here. I will have to say that there, there must be something going on with my YouTube. I hope you all, like I hope I'm still live. It says I'm still live. But it shows that I have zero of you watching. And clearly you're watching if you're commenting. <laughs> but it shows zero people. Hi, Elaine. Welcome. Yeah, it shows zero people watching. So I think you guys are here. <laughs> all right. So we just did a little bit of ink blending and it's one of my favorite things to do is to ink blend tone on tone because look at how fun it makes it look. It just adds that extra um, something to the card. Okay. Now um, on this larger piece, so this smaller piece is going to be in the background. This larger piece is what we're going to stamp on. We're going to stamp happy birthday with our watermark ink and heat embossed with, you can do white or cream. You could do cream. Um, embossing powder. Now I know Stampin' Up um, is out of the embossing powders and I've heard that they're coming back um, in the fall. Well I'm glad I'm glad you're all still here Angelique. It literally says zero. <laughs> it says zero of you are watching which normally we get like you know 10, 15, 20, sometimes 30. So I was surprised when it said zero but I just keep going with it right? <laughs> Okay, um, I'm gonna powder this up, put some anti-static powder. Some of you may have the bag. I don't have the bag, it's somewhere in my craft room. I'm just not sure where. So, okay, I'm going to use Happy Birthday. And um, let's also pull out our little sandcastle stamp. So, sandcastle stamp and Happy Birthday. Whoops. Happy birthday does fit on a D black. Okay, so let's heat emboss our happy birthday. And this is going to be stamped in the bottom right corner here. So I'm going to ink up really well. You could use your Stamparatus or your Misty if you have one. But I'm going to use a block and hope for the best. Be confident. Okay, I'm going to get that on there and hope it stamps really well. <laughs> Okay. All right, so that's that's the embossing ink and then I'll get my white embossing powder which I just dump out my little buckets into a bigger bucket. It's just easier for me. And then I put a little spoon in them. Okay. Now, if you get any um embossing powder where you don't want it, you can use a paintbrush, a dry paintbrush, and brush some of it away. My paintbrush I just washed, so it's actually um, wet. Okay, that looks good to me. And then I'm gonna melt the powder. All right, it's gonna be loud for a minute. We'll let that set for a second. Um, while that sets, let's stamp the little sandcastle. You'll stamp the sandcastle and die cut that out. So it's going to be tone on tone. So crumb cake onto crumb cake. Isn't that cute little sandcastle? He's so adorable. Isn't that cute? And then there's a matching die in here. I really need to put my dies on magnet shapes. 
All right, that's the one I need for all of you guys. So here's that sweet little sand castle. My kids are not too old for building sand castles at the beach. They still build sand castles. So it's fun. Usually they they like dig a moat, right? They like try to make a lake on the beach with their cute little, like with their, you know, they like block the water from getting out and then try to bring it up and bring the water up from the lake or whatever. And the water always escapes, right? Okay, I'm just gonna gently buff away the excess embossing powder. Um, and then we can stamp on the inside. So I stamped Sending Sunshine Your Way and The Little Sand Castle. So remember we're in portrait, not portrait, landscape orientation. And I'm going to do the sand castle in crumb cake. And I did that in the bottom left. I think my favorite part of this whole thing, this whole stamp here, is there's a little shovel in the sand. <laughs> Isn't that cute? cute little shovel. And then um, <clears throat> in Coastal Cabana, I use Coastal Cabana ink a lot. You can stamp your sentiment, which was out somewhere. Sending sunshine your way. And I have, I think I have crumb cake ink on here. Let me clean that off quick. going to be here. Okay, all right, I think we are ready to assemble. I think, I think. All right, let's glue the inside down. I wonder if I can make it through this class with the same run out bottle of ink. Maybe not. <laughs> I really need to or run out bottle of glue. I really need to get some more glue. See, I just placed an order, an order today and forgot my glue. <laughs> okay all right so that's our inside I love the little sand castle it's so adorable okay then our mat is going to be crumb cake and our DSP is going to fit along the top the bottom or the top the left and the right with just a little margin there Oh, now I'm making a mess with glue. Hold on, I got glue right there. What an awful spot for glue, huh? There we go. So this is like the rain coming down. A rainy day at the beach. And then... Um, we're going to glue this one down, and this one's going to be popped up with foam tape. And, oh, look at that. I'm going to use one of these. It's perfect. Before I take the backer off here, I'm going to dry fit this and see where I want to glue down this piece. I think right there is good. I'm going to put my finger there, I guess. Well, or I'll just remember what it looks like. So it's just above the bottom of the DSP there. Ugh, I'm going to need another glue. <laughs> I can't make it. All right, I have this one too, but it's almost empty. I just, I had a, such a large supply of glue that I thought I was never going to run out. I was like, there's no way I'm ever going to run out of glue. I have so much. And um, I ran out. <laughs> I just wasn't paying attention. You know, I, I feel like I did that with dimensionals one time too. I just completely ran out. I hadn't ordered any. I just assumed I had an abundance of them because typically I do. And nope. I ran out. 
Okay, so I lined that up. Okay, isn't that cute? Now um, we're gonna add our little cloud to the sky with some dimensionals. So that's gonna go over here. Oh, and that needs some Stella, of course. It's a cloud. I need to order more Stella too. See, there's all sorts of stuff I forgot to order. Come on. Oh boy, look at that, I got a whole bunch. All right, well, hopefully that'll dry. That's a lot of Stella. <laughs> um, I'm gonna Stella this because there's so much on the brush. I'm gonna Stella the flag too. Okay. It's a lot of Stella that came out. I thought it was empty too. <laughs> All right. All right, I think we can add, oh, let's add our little um, sand castle. That's gonna get two mini dimensionals. And I'm gonna put that in the bottom left-hand corner. The boy Milo, oh, he looks so cute. His eyebrows right now are so gray. He's got some gray eyebrows going on. Okay, um, I know you don't have this. Um, it's gonna go right here. Um, I am going to glue it down so you can see where it goes, and then you'll know that that's where yours goes. <laughs> okay. So. All right, let's see. Then the little shack I popped up, and you could use dimensionals. You could use strips if you wanted to use the little foam strips. Those would work well. I'm going to cut some of this right here and make my own little strip. I think it'll work. I think it'll work. Right there. There. That worked. So that. These mini dimensional backers, I will have to say, because I have long nails, they're very hard to take off. <laughs> okay, that's gonna go popped up right here. And we'll do our little flag behind it. Except where did my flag go? I just put Stella on it. So it has to be here. Where did it go? Did I drop it? Hmm. I just put Stella on my little lemon lolly flag. Did anyone see it? <laughs> it's stuck to something. Hmm. Where did it go? Little flag, where did you go? It didn't stick to my Stella, did it? No. I don't know where it went. I don't, I don't see it anywhere. It's not stuck to me. Okay, I lost the little flag. <laughs> um. I don't know. I'll keep looking for it. Otherwise, I'll die cut another one, I guess. How strange. Where did it go? I don't know. I guess I'll stop looking for it and we'll, we'll just keep going. Um, I'm going to pull out my reverse tweezers. Okay, so this goes this way. Like this. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to hold my... tweezers in my left hand and I'm going to add just a little bit of glue to each one of these little pieces. Not very much glue at all because it's all just going to come squirting out if you add too much. So this just sort of goes leaning up against the shack and then down at the bottom sand here. So it just spans the distance between there. Okay. 
and the glue needs a little bit of help. And then we're gonna put this little grass piece right at the bottom of the ramp, like right here. Okay. Life preserver, I think is maybe what it's called. Gets a little teeny bit of glue and it goes on the shack right here. It's so pretty when you put Stella on it. <laughs> All right, and the flag would go here, wherever mine is. I used a little foam, a little foam, um, a little dimensional on the back of the flag and popped it up. It went behind the shack. No idea where mine went. I just had it. It's stuck to something. I'll find it as soon as I'm done going live, most likely. I don't think it's in my shirt. Milo's not over here, so he didn't track it somewhere. I don't know. It's somewhere. Okay. <laughs> Let's glue this panel to the front. We already glued the inside, and then we'll add our bow and our um, gems. Okay. Sharon, you'll find it tomorrow. I sure will. I'll be cleaning up tomorrow and I'll find it. I'll let you know where I find it. <laughs> it's slide under something. I just don't see it anywhere. Okay, this one gets a little bow. So if you have a bow maker, it gets this little, this, the two most inside settings. And... Uh, if you don't have a bow maker, just make a really little bow. Okay. If you if you have a bow maker and you're just not sure how to use it, I did make a video, a live video, um, a month or two ago, and walked through the steps on how to make the bow maker, or on, on how to use the bow maker. I like to trim both of my tails when they're sitting on here. All right, so here's this cute little bow. I love these like smallest configuration for bows. We're gonna put, press the bow into the glue dot. And the bow goes right here, right above the cute little sand castle. Okay, and then back to gems. I'm trying to think if these have, I think these just have two sizes. Big, little, I'm going to do a little one right here. All right, and then you would add your flag. I really wish I had my flag. <laughs> it is somewhere. Somewhere, you guys. I don't know. Did it get stuck on the old glue bottle? No. I have no idea where it is. No clue. I don't think it fell down. I don't know. I give up. I'll have to cut a new one. <laughs> okay. So here is card number three with the flag and the base. So I'm so sorry. I will mail the bases to you. And you all have the flags. <laughs> I just don't have my flag. It's somewhere. So let me know which one's your favorite. So this is three. There's two and one. So what, card one. Card two. Here we go. Card one. Card two. Card three. There, they all fit. I must be zoomed out today. Normally I'm zoomed in some more, I think. Oh, there's Milo. It's like on cue. He knows. He knows it's time for snacks. You know, don't you, buddy? You know it's time for snacks. All right, let me know which one your favorite is. I am going to flip the camera. 
Hello, everyone. <laughs> and um, let me get Milo for snacks. He came over and then he laid down again. Yes, hello, Bubby. Do you want a snack? Do you want your snacks? Let's get the chair out of the way. Do you want your snacks, buddy? Come here. Hi. Here he is. Here's Milo Bear. Hi, Milo Bear. Hi. Oh, good boy. How was your nap? How was your nap? Did you have a good nap? Oh, yes. Everyone says hello, Milo. Hello, Milo. Good boy. Here's your snap. Good boy. Oh, yummy. You love your peanut butter snacks. Oh, good boy. Yes, good dear. That's all. That's all. Good boy. Yes, that's my good baby. This is his latest toy. Whatever this is. I think I showed it last week. It was his favorite then, too. <laughs> He's, um, yeah, good boy. No, you don't want it. This is what was stuck under the um, cart over there at the beginning of class and that's what he was making all that ruckus trying to get out <laughs> was was that pink thing <laughs> okay sharon says i'll make these cards tomorrow while it's raining think nice weather yes <laughs> yes you should make them when it's raining card two and three are your favorites angelique says um number two elaine says number two i think my favorite is probably number three I really like the late, like the landscape and the shack and like the layout, but I do really like the surfboards on card number two. So usually you guys know, if you've been watching, I usually save my favorite card for last and we do that one as the last card, but I like them all. So I think they're pretty and they're not like overly heavy on the DSP and that's different, right? Normally for the monthly subscription class, we have a lot of DSP that we use. So we didn't use a ton. So you have a lot extra in your card kits to do whatever your heart desires with. <laughs> so, all right, guys, it's really early. It's only 930. This class normally doesn't take very long. Um, it's usually die cut intensive. So usually I die cut a lot of it ahead of time. And uh, that way you don't have to and it's all ready for you. So that's definitely a benefit of this class. So if you're looking to get card kits where you don't have to do a lot of the die cutting, typically that would be this class. So there are always some exceptions and um, sometimes I'm sure you'll have to die cut lots. But typically this is the class where you don't have to do a ton of die cutting. So, But uh, the kits usually have lots of fun pieces to them. So, all right guys. Um, that's all I have for you. I'm trying to think. Um, this week I will be working on designing the In Color Kickoff Party cards, which is Hot Air Balloon. And that, um, I'm really excited. That set is really cute. So if you don't have that, you can get that. It's in the mini catalog, but it is carrying over. So if you want the bundle price, you'll want to buy it before May 1st because it's 10% off as a bundle. Once it carries over to the new catalog, you just have to buy them separately. So you can still buy the stamps and then the dies, just not at the 10% off in a bundle. Pat Vidrio says they're all very cute. Her favorite's number three. Sharon, thanks. Have a great week. Thanks so much for this adorable set of cards. You guys are so welcome. I'm oh, uh, thanks, Jean. You guys are so nice. I'm glad you like them. I really like this set too. Um, I think a lot of people didn't get this set. Similar with like flower cart. If you remember, we talked about that um, two classes ago. A lot of people didn't get like the flower cart set or this beach day set. Um, just because they think they probably didn't think they had a lot of uses for it, but I think they're really cute. They're really fun. They're different. And that's why I like them just because they're not, I love floral stamp sets. I love them, but I like that these are different, right? There's not something that you see every day or every catalog. So these are sets that I like to pick up myself to keep in my own stash just because they are so different. So, um, yeah, and then they all go back there. <laughs> They're all organized alphabetically. The current ones are up here, uh, which it's a little bare at the moment because I pulled everything out that was retiring and put it back there. And then um, once that gets really full, I pull out the really old stamp sets, like five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifteen 15 years plus, and I put them in a different cabinet in the other room. So 
which a lot of those are like wood block stamps that came in those cases. Remember those plastic cases that we used to keep them in? So I, I have a lot of those. And then for a while, Stampin' Up, do you remember it was you could pick if you wanted the wood stamps or the photopolymer stamps. You could pick. You paid a little bit more if you wanted the wood ones. Well, I picked the wood ones because that's what we were used to. Like, what was this photopolymer thing? Like, <laughs> And now, um, now I don't even know when the last time was I stamped with a wood a wood block stamp, like a wood mount stamp. It's been a very long time. So it's just different, the evolution of card making, right? And how far it's come and how far we've come. And it's just different, right? So, all right, well, I'm going on and on about randomness. So um, I think I was going to tell you what's next. So next week is the fun fold class, the hot air balloon fun fold class. So I still have card kits left. I think I have three left. So if you want those, they're $25. I can ship them out. If I ship them out tomorrow or the next day, they should get to you on time. Otherwise, um, I can always ship them out later and you can just watch the replay to put the cards together or use the PDF, whatever works best for you. So um, I will let you, I'll send you all an email if you're subscribed to my email about when the showcase is going to be. So the showcase will, I'll show all the cards and talk about everything for all classes that are coming in May. Okay, so you can see what all those cards look like. But other than that, that's all I have for you guys. So thanks for spending your Tuesday night with me. I hope you all have beautiful weather the rest of the week. It's going to be like 50s here. So I can't complain. It is April and it usually is 40s here. Maybe 50s on a, on a good day. So uh, 50s, I'll take it any day over snow. So that works for me. So, all right. Well, thank you all. I hope you have a great week and a great Wednesday and um, I will see you all next time. Okay. All right. Take care. Bye guys. Thank you.